So I just got back from Whitewater Camp, and it's an orchestra camp. And uh, sorry if you see me do weird things with my eyes. Um, my eyes, I think they're moving when I sleep, and I feel the need to like. If you see me do this or this, it's because I feel like I need to stretch my eyes or something, and it's really weird and annoying, and I don't like to do it because then people think I'm like rolling my eyes at them, but I'm not. So. Um, yeah, I got back from Whitewater Camp. It was really fun. The food was college food, so it was eh. And we ordered Rocky Rococo pizza two nights, and then we had it for a picnic on the third day. So, um, yeah. And I'm also taking a math class. Um, I'm go along with the stuff on the internet, I'm going into school. <laughs> every day and it starts at 8 o'clock and it goes till 10 15 and it's the second semester of algebra and let me tell you I thought it was not gonna be fun but it is like the funnest math class I've ever had like I solved an algebraic equation by myself and then I just freaked out for a few minutes cuz that doesn't happen like my math teacher is the best in the whole world and I just want to hug him he's seriously helping me understand the whole thing of algebra so I'm really glad that's going great. So me and my friend Sigmy are going to um, Madison and we're going to go walk around on State Street and it's going to be fun and then I think what's going to happen is she's going to sleep over and then come to the party the next day but we're actually starting a band. Um, <laughs> I say that tentatively because it's not like, you know, a lot of drum stuff. She sings and she does piano and she does um, viola and she writes music. So I do p a little piano. I used to take it but then I just stopped because the medical stuff got in the way so I know piano and I do the violin and I'm writing a song too and it's actually really exciting. Maybe if we finish one soon enough then I can play it for you, but she's going to be gone in France, like, the whole summer, um, so probably won't finish too many. Um. Alright, moving on to the questions, um, Stacy asked, what kind of cell phone do you have? I have an LG, I think it's called, like, alright, I grabbed my phone, it's an LG by AT&T and it does this and that's Kara by the way you can't really see her but yeah it's like with AT&T if you have um, your phone long the background just changed so my face looks green now on top of everything else but anyways um, if you like it's like a contract where if you keep your phone for like so many years like two or four I can't remember but and then you get like a new phone without having to pay the full price it's like pretty cheap 60 or under for a new one so that's good um I love to when I get a new phone though it's about time to get it switched anyways the battery is actually cracked right here you probably can't see it but that little white spot it's cracked still works all right but um hmm oh yeah when I get a new phone instead of reading the manual I think it's faster and makes your memory better if you just <laughs> I always press all the buttons and I see what happens like I'll press the options button and I'll see all the different options and I'll see what they all do and it seems to work better for me I don't know if anybody else feels that way um, Rachel's question is where's the farthest place you've traveled to um, I've been to China and that is probably the farthest place I've been to um, my favorite place um I don't know like you mean like shop or like place like I want to go to Scotland really badly um 
and um, I would love to go to Australia visit Stacy. that'd be cool um, I'd actually like to visit all of you but um, I don't really have a favorite place except I probably would like to visit New Zealand and Scotland and Europe because <laughs> one of my foreign exchange students that I had it lives in Spain and she's really nice I keep in touch with her and she's in college to be a doctor actually so yeah we keep in touch still she's so great um Colleen's question is what is one symptom that you can't fight through um all right I have clarification on the question now so um Colleen's question again is what is one symptom that you can't fight through um probably um <laughs> probably my vision actually um nothing actually helps with it and it seems to be, be getting progressively worse um I mean none of my occasions really help much except beta blocker which I mean I can still get it up there if I'm exercising like I was I had a heart rate ring on the other day and I was playing violin just to see for hoots um um what it would get up to and it actually got up to 110 um my heart rate got up to 110 when I was just playing violin and sitting down so it will still get up there but I think that's the one that really can control anything um probably yeah so the symptoms I can't fight through is the main one is probably the vision um and if I had to say another then <laughs> I actually have three. Um, the vision, um, probably depression, and um, definitely the sleep because my sleep is just really bad and it's driving me crazy. I'm so tired all the time. I'm teaching myself to drink coffee and it's full of chocolate syrup and whipped cream right now and coffee creamer, but eventually I will get to just drinking the straight coffee so I don't have a sugar crash. But I am, because I have to get up early in the math class, for the math class, um, in the morning, so I'm making myself drink coffee, and, yeah, I got a little off track there. Um, Caroline, um, your cat is adorable. We would have, your cats, excuse me, plural, um, we would have cats except for the fact that my mom is super allergic to cats, and I am allergic to cats, but not as severely as her, probably. Um, I'm actually allergic to my guinea pig. My dad is allergic to anything that grows, like hair and skin and everything. Um, but anyways, I think your question was, like, do you, it's either do you like theme park rides or have you been any? Um, I've been to Six, Fle Six Flags, I think it's called Six Flags, yeah, they might, I don't know if they changed the name, I can't remember, it's like Six Flags. Yeah, and um, we've got a lot of roller coasters there, and I, there's this one, it's called like the Raging Bull or something, and it's so unbelievably high, and I, I like roller coasters as long as you're not super duper high, like, I don't want to come shooting almost straight down from higher than any crane or ladders could reach. It's absolutely humongous, but someday I told my friend that we are going to go on that together, and I'm starting to rethink that because that will probably cause a lot of symptoms. Like the other part of your question, uh, what happens with your symptoms um, when you go on the rides? Well, um, there's one that I go on, it's called like the demon or something, and it's really fun. It's like it preps you for the downhill. It goes up and then it just does a little dip and then it goes down. And it's not that high. And then you go loop-de-loop -loop and it's it's fun but um I don't really th my heart rate probably just goes soaring is all um and that I think causes more vision problems and dizziness but actually I probably have more symptoms than I actually account for when I'm on those like I think I get some sort of stomach pain or nausea 
and I've got the dizziness and that vision thing and the heart rate and that should be all I think from theme park rides um and Emily I'm happy birthday so I like ooh. <sighs> Emily's question was do you have a blog I think that's I don't know what order I'm doing this in. Is this the one from last week? I don't know if you asked one from this week, so... Um, I don't have a blog. I don't even exactly know what that is. Is that like a journal that you write online for the world to see? Um, yeah. So I don't. But happy birthday. I hope you had a fabulous time and got fabulous things. And hopefully all your symptoms get better, you know, as you get older. That's what they always tell me. Um, and then I give the doctors the death stare when they tell me that. They they always say to me um, that, yeah, you can grow out of it when you get older. And then my mom looks a lot of stuff up online and like 90% of the people that have this say, well, I never grew out of it, so doubt is in my mind about what's going to happen to me, but hopefully everything goes better for you, all of you. Alright, so actually my birthday is this Friday and it's not that big of a deal really, but I, I forgot, I thought it was next week, so yeah, I'm having some friends over and it's going to be fun. Alright, Natalie's back again, and I have to make this because I forgot to ask a question. And my question is, do you, have any of you ever had, like, the kind of vision thing that I'm going through right now? Um, and if you have, what did you do about it? Um, ooh. Yeah, like, earlier today, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, um, closed my eyes and I put them on lightly. And, um, it felt like they were, <laughs> stop, <laughs> like they were vibrating, like, underneath, so, yeah, if you guys ever had any of this, let me know. Alright, so I'm gonna go to bed, I'm sorry it's late again, I was, Tuesday's a busy day for me, um, it'll let up after, like, five weeks my math class ends, so I've got that. And then I go to a violin lesson, and then summer orchestra. So I get back at like 7.30 something, but I can make it in between um, the math class and the violin lesson because I have three hours. So I will get this up earlier next week. I'm sorry, I just... I'm so out of the loop. Alright, so I'm going to go to bed and... You probably are all asleep. Maybe Stacy isn't. I'm really bad with times and dates and months and um, maps. Um, so I will see you all next week, and I will keep in touch with you. I will keep. I will keep in touch with you on. Facebook. Alright, so talk to you later. Hope you all have a great, fabulous day.